Welcome to the fastest stop in town. Today we're in Masech the Sukkah Daf Lamed Gimel. We are going to begin on the bottom of Lamed Beis and Beis four lines from the bottom with the words Tanur Banam. So we were learning at the end of yesterday's Daf regarding the Din of Hadas, and we said that it was necessary that if there are berries that we should remove those berries because there's too many of them that it ends up becoming the majority over the leaves and then it becomes possible. However, you're not allowed to be mamayat them on Yom Tov. So, Tanur Badam. Nishu Roiv Olav. Let's say you have the majority of your leaves there. V'nishtarim um, miut, And there's just a minority. It's kosher. V'lvach nhei avoiso kayemas. It needs to be that you still have this avoy, such we mentioned yesterday, that they need to be in this cluster, each nest of at least three. So hagufa kasha. This in itself is the parent stira. Arba nishu roival of kosher. As long as you have the majority, it's kosher. Bahadir tanivachin hei avosu kayamas. But it still has to be this avoy, which we said is a minimum of three. Now kivad din who tray. Now typically there's only three, so if you remove um, two, avoys heichem shkachas law. How is it shaykh that you could still have have avoys? Because it says that even if nishru uh, roiv olav, even if the re- the majority is removed, which means the majority of three is two, which is only one leaf there. So how is it shaykh that you're going to have avos, which is three? So this is the Gemara's uh, question. So on Omar Abaya, he says that's possible. Mishkachas as we continue along with with Olav, Baasa. Mitzra with an Egyptian had, uh, hadas. The kaima shiva shiva b'chad kina. Interestingly enough, they actually had seven um, by each each uh, nest, each one. The chin natri arba. If you remove the roy, which is four, still pashul tlasi. You still have three and enough. So I'm rabbi shema mina hayasa mitzra kashul hayshano. Person's allowed to use this particular type of of asa. For the Hoshana for the Hadas of Shita, why not? It's why would it be a problem? So Madatema Hoyal Lisalashim Lavayim Loy Miskasha Kamashmon. Maybe because it has this additional name, so then that's a problem. So for the Gemara be Imachinami, we know that if let's say it has another name, the Torah is Makbid on it <coughs> and changes it to a specific name, you can't use it. As we saw previously in Daphne uh, uh, we, we saw it, we saw it previously. So our answer is Eitz Avos Samarachman Mikol Makom, which Lachayra means that Eitz Avos comes to say that even if it has an additional name, uh, it's still acceptable. Turn about it. The part that says Yavshu uh, Roiv Olav. Let's say the majority of the leaves are withered. Nishayru by Shleisha Badi Olin, Lachin, but there's remaining. Uh, three alin which are still lach, which are still moist, kosher. Yermelchista uveroish kol echad echad has to be on the top of each one. So the main part of the hadas is the is the top. Question twelve. Hadas she yimshu olav become who possible. So the answer as we just saw is imun ishtayr gimel olin barosho possible. If there's not at least three leaves on the top. Then it's possible. Okay. Weiter. Niktam Roisho. So he said, just like the Lulav, if you cut the top of it off, it's possible. So Tani Ula Barchinina, Niktam Roisho, let's say you cut off the top, however, we also buy Tamara Kosher. Interesting, a, a, uh, a berry grows on the top of where you cut it off, it becomes Kosher. Now, even though it was a problem, it became Kosher. So boy Rav Yirmiya Niktam Roishom Erev Yomtiv. Let's say you cut it off on Erev Yomtiv, which means at, on Erev Sukkot it was not able to be used. The also about Tamar B'Yomtiv. Then the next day a berry grows on Sukkot itself. Mahu. Now when Yomtiv began it was not a Hadas that you wanted to use for Sukkot. So maybe we say Yesh Dichle Yitzel Mitzvahs. Although maybe we should say that since it was pushed off the onset of, of Yomtiv because it was Niktam Rosho, it's not acceptable anymore, even though a berry grows on it. So if the berry would grow on it and it grew before Yom Tiv, it's not a problem. The whole issue is Dafka in a situation 
where it was Nitam Roishai and then on Yom Tov itself. So it was Puzzle at the time of the onset of Sukkot. So Tiv Shalomah, we should be able to answer it from the following din as brought down Masech Tzchuan, Tidnan Kisahu Miskal Patam Lachasayis. So the din of Kisi Adam, when it comes to a higher and oath, they have to cover up its blood. Now let's say you cover it up, and all of a sudden <coughs> it has to be covered on the bottom and the top like a sandwich. Let's say for whatever reason it got revealed. So you don't have to cover it up anymore. Kisaha ruach So the mission over there says, however, if let's say the wind is what covered it, you didn't actually do the kisui, but you did spill the the blood on the ground, and then the wind came and blew uh, off on top of it. So you chayv lachasos. So the only issue with covering it. The only issue of you having to recover it is when it comes to the wind that covered it. And it got uncovered. However, of if let's say it was covered by the wind, it's okay. You're fine. You don't have to do kisi adam because it's still covered. and ba, and we asked a question over there. Kichazim and isgala amai chavachasos. It doesn't make sense. If in fact we said that if it's covered, it's fine. If it remains covered, so now that it gets uncovered, why should that be a problem? Why should we say? That you have to cover it up again. Once it's pushed off, it's pushed off. In other words, it shouldn't matter even if, let's say, it gets niskala. So the Omer Rav Papa, and Rav Papa said over there, Zoysomeres in Dichetzomitzvus. That we don't say Dichetzomitzvus. So therefore, the fact that the, you don't have to do them, you don't say, oh, well, it's been covered already, so therefore it's it, the mitzvah is done. No, we don't say that. In Dichetzomitzvus. So therefore, Luchaira, we can learn out from Kisi Adam that the same din applies over here. That if that berry grew on Yom Tov itself, we should say, Ein Dichei Etzomitzvah, Lukula, and now you'll be able to use it. Marantz says, that's exactly the point. Throughout Papa, Gufa Meboile, he actually had this inquiry. Mim should poshit lay the Ein Dichei Etzomitzvah, Loshno Lukula, Loshno Lachomra, this was Gufa, the point. He wasn't sure whether or not the din is poshit that we say this din of <coughs> of ein dichet zemitzvahs, or maybe only l'chumra. And therefore l'chumra will have to have you cover the blood again. However, in this situation it would be l'kula, and maybe we're not allowed, therefore, because we're not sure, it's a suffix, whether you can use this hadas in which the berry grew up. So tonight. Let's say this whole idea is actually a machlokas tonight. Let's look at this Rashi. Loshno lechomer ki hacha de mechayv lo bechisu mishum time de indichoi loshno lekul ki ahid rav yirmiya diyarin in indichoi havi kosher this uh, hadas the miyish dichoi havi pasav i mean indicho umachshirin. Okay. So let's say this is actually a machlokas tanoim. Avrubalachtam. Let's say a person, you're not supposed to uh, pluck the berries on Yamta. That's what the Mishnah said, as we, we quoted. However, let's say a person was over, he violated and he did it. So the question is, so maybe now it's fine, because it, technically, if you look at it, it looks like a good hadas. So we say, Puzzle, Divi Rebbe Lezer, So actually, machlokas, if you're Avrubalachtam, whether or not you could use this hadas. So everyone holds the love doesn't need to be attached and tied together. If you tackle hold that it does, we know as we mentioned before in the first parak uh, by the, the haystack as well as the other play, tikra, all these different other dinim, you can't build, put the schach up, and then afterwards you build the walls. It has to be that it's already accepted and done. Um, we also said this by the dinim of tzitzes. So we know that's the din by sukkah. There's a concept of tasa v'lum and asoy. So when it comes to luab, we don't say tasa and asoy, which means even if you hold it, has to be tied together. It doesn't have to be kosher at that moment. Even if it becomes kosher afterwards, it's not a problem. So my law, the hakimifli, the man the pasul saber amin and yeshdi chaitzel mitzvus, man the mashu saber uleimrin and yeshdi chaitzel mitzvus. So maybe this is a machok of tanayim. The one who says that it's okay um, will say, Even though 
it was puzzle on Yomtev. Now that you plucked it on Yomtev, and you weren't supposed to, you were in the second mana, you made a fix a Kli, it doesn't make any difference. It's still okay because he holds in uh, that um, in or lo amrin and yesh dichel to mitzvahs. So it's a machlokas tanoim. Whether we say yesh dichel to mitzvahs, lo. Maybe this is not a mach- the machlokas over here uh, among these two t- among these tanoim is not based on whether we say yesh dichel to mitzvahs. Really, the kol yamu lo amrin and yesh dichel to mitzvahs. No one says that there's this push that we push off a mitzvah. So therefore, what's this whole machlokas if it's kosher or pasul of your other lachan? Bach b'melef lo masukim if we. The question is, do we tackle or not? Just like by sukkah, is the din of tassel and osui. Marsa be yalfin lo masukah. Marsa be yalfin lo yalfin lo masukah. So if you worn out lo from sukkah, so just like as a sukkah is the din tassel and osui, so do by lo because it's sarch eged needs to be tied together. And therefore, after you plucked it off, it's it had to you had to do the eged after it was already kosher. But since in this situation, you plucked it off while it was, after it was already tied, that's the issue of tassel and osui. <coughs> that's one uh, an, a second possibility other than the first of whether the machlokas is whether you say yishdichet to mitzvahs the boy seima isfir one will sarch eged the kol yamli afinu l'masuka then maybe takiv everyone holds up eged then everyone will, will actually make this connection to asam and asam v'hacha will sarch eged commit to me the whole machlokas is is there a requirement of eged as we saw before the pumpluta the hani tanoi the sign you love, bein agid bein shenu agid kosher. Yehuda Omer agid kosher shenu agid pasul. So Rabbi Yehuda is of the shita that it must be tied. When the Tanakam holds, it's not necessary. So if you hold surach agid, so over belotan is pasul. However, if you hold in surach agid, then over belotan is kosher. So my time, Rabbi Yehuda. What is the reason why Rabbi Yehuda says that it must be connected? Yofel kicha kicha min kudas ezoi. So he learns out from the din of the ezo, from the hisup, um, and uh, re- regarding this din. That it needs also to be all good. It has to be all, all these things need to be tied together. which is by sukkus, uh, by the lula. Uh, so in both situations, it's necessary for it to be an ogud attached. The rabbanon hold of, don't hold this gazer shava, and therefore it doesn't hold that it needs to be agud. Man tana lo had the Who is the tana? Of the following thing that which we learned, the rule of mitzvah agdoi. The imloy agdu kosher had this before. So money ira bihuda kilo agdu my kosher. It says if you didn't do it, it's kosher. He says it's ma'akif. You rabbanon my mitzvah kav it. So I'm rabbanon mitzvah mishum zekel v'yandehu. Even though the rabbanon say you don't have to do it, it's still a mitzvah. It makes it nicer to do it. And therefore, it's nice to do it. And therefore, it's a mitzvah agdoi. But it's not uh, ma'akif. Okay. Question thirteen. But my kmitzki rabbanu rabbelezid abu velatan and the hadas biyalkim biim pasul. Three answers. Either we learn out this machlokas is do we say yesh dichet zimitzus? The question is even if you hold sarach eged. The question is do we learn out uh, lulav from sukkah that there's a din tasman also? Or the machlokas is simply whether um, we require eged. Oshahiyah nava meruven. So we said if there's more berries and leaves then it's possible. So Amr Rav Chista Davar 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 Zeh Rabbeinu Agadol Amru uh, the Rabbeinu Agadol uh, said this statement and actually this Rabbeinu Rashi says is Rav and that this statement is actually going to be said this similar lashon we'll see in a couple of blot from now Vamakam Yehi BeEzra that Hashem should help him Loshon Elba Malkam Elba Malkam Echa the only time we say this din is of all the various in one place Elba B'Shtam Yisholishim Kamos Kasher if they're in two or three different places, it's not a problem. It's always going to be kosher. So Amalei Rava on this as we continue to Lamed Gimel and Bez. Mar says that doesn't uh, sound correct. Shnai Mishloshim and Kaima is having Menumer Apostle. If it's in two or three places, it looks all spotted. It doesn't look nice. Uh, there's no Din Hadr, as Rashi says. Uh, therefore, it should definitely be Apostle. Ella. So this is the maskana. Sometimes it's hard when they ask these types of questions. Your mind is thinking of the hava meaning. You have to make sure you remember this is the maskana. When do we say it's possible if there's too many berries? That's only if the berries are black. But if let's say the berries are green, meaning the hadasu of kosher. It blends in, it's like camouflage together with the hadas, therefore it's kosher. Yom Rav Papa, 
Adumois Kashurois. Damian. If the berries are red, they have the same din as if they were black, which means it would be a problem. Why would we compare the color red to black? Where have we ever seen that before? The Amrav Hanina, Haidam Shachar Adam Hu El Shalaka. This is actually referring to the dinim of Nida, that if a woman would see Dam Shachar, black blood, it really is red, but because she was like hit, um, or because there was some type of um, discoloration, really that is considered to be red blood, red, and therefore the dinim um, of Dam Nida apply in this situation as well. So let's look at question 14. It's a little tricky. Do you have the majority of berries, or not the majority of berries, and they're in one or two or three places, what's it then? So maskan is like this. If there's the majority of berries, it's always possible. It doesn't matter if it's in one or two places. If there's a minority, a small amount of berries, then it's kosher, bein b'makam echad, bein b'beiz, b'gimam kaimais. That's what it says, the maskana. So, um, it's taloi, and therefore the whole machlokis, the, the, the only time he makes this distinction, is if the difference between black, red, or green color. However, if there is the majority, it doesn't matter, um, even if, let's say, it's in one place, it's possible, certainly in two or three places, and it's mawatin, it's kosher, even if it's in two or three uh, places. Okay, that's the proper way of reading that gemara. Imyat and kosher. We said if you want, you can pluck them off, and now it'll be fine. There won't be any of those berries. It's kosher. So Gemara says, "Dematinu emos." When did you actually remove those berries? Ilema nikmei de agde. If it was before you tied it together with the arava and the, the wool of sopshita. So what's the problem? You did it before yamtiv, and you didn't you did it before egged. So you prepared it before. So what's the problem? El the chiddush is lebasne de agde. The question is, maybe it's after you already did Eged, you already tie, it was already tied together, and the problem with that is, it's a Dichem Yikara, that it, will be, it was possible um, already at the beginning, right? At the very beginning, it was possible because um, it was possible when it was tied, and then you removed it. So, Tiv Shemina, can we derive from here that Dichem Yikara will have a That even though... Uh, it was a dichli from the very beginning because it was tied off, tied together improperly. That's not a dichli, and, and you could fix it up. So we all busted agde. So yeah, it's talking about a situation where it's already tied. Exaver eged hazman of almahu. According to the shita, eged is only hazmana. It's only like preparing uh, for the mitzvah. But hazman of alma love klomhu. And according to the shita, hazmana is nothing. And therefore, it's not an issue. But we don't learn out from here uh, any raya that dichli mikara lo havi dichli because it's really not a dichli because eged is not a requirement. It's just hazman of alma. They matin be yamtiv. Now you're not allowed to pluck them off on yamtiv, even though we said it was a machlokus if over them. But you're not supposed to take them off on yamtiv. Now, however, belachten my. Again, this is a mach locus, but imagine you took them off. Well, her kosher, then it's fine. So, the ashkar amos. When did these become really black? In other words, when did these berries become problematic? Elim, the ashkar esmol. If, let's say, they became black and puzzle um, from before Yumta starts, dichami karhu. It means what happened was these berries. Uh, were black, and now Yom Tov came. So at the moment that Yom Tov came, it's a Dichem Yikara, because you're now, it's it's a it's puzzle right now. So it's, again, Tiv Shemina, Dichem Yikara, Doli Havi Dichli. Well, we should be able to derive from here that even though it's a Dichli from the beginning of Yom Tov, it's not a Dichli, and you can still pluck them off if you, you're not supposed to, but Abra it's kosher. El Olav, the Ashkar B'yoyim, B'yom Tov. Let's say it became black on, on Yom Tov itself, which means when Yom Tov came, it was good. So, near of Nidchahu, it was fit when Yom Tov came, then became Dai Nidch later. So, Shmamina near of Nidcha, Chayz Venira. Maybe we can derive from here that it was good, then became bad, that you can make it good again. Near of Nidcha, Chayz Venira. 
Rather, we're going to say Lamaskana. What happened is this: that originally it became black. It became black right away, which means the Dikhami Kara. So we have a Dikhli Tivshimina. We won't go that far. We will say that if it was bad, it can become good. However, we're not going to go so far and say it was good, then it was bad, then we can go make it good again. That's too much already. That's too many flip-flops that we're not going to allow. However, we will say it was bad when Yom Tov came, and we're going to say that with Nimcha, therefore, we're going to derive um, that Adichem Yikara will have a Dichem. Tanabon. Because just based, once we establish that, so maybe you could also say this based on the previous piece before, if you're, it says you might on, um, before or, or not, <coughs> so we ended up saying that Eged is, is Hazman and Ba'alma, but maybe now with Maskana that we've established that there is a Din of Dichem Yikara will have whether we would change that previous Kamar. Tanabon. In Mematin Biyamtin. Mishim Rebbe Lez, Rebbe Sadegoymer, Mematin. You could actually remove it. Abba HaKam Masak and Mana Biyamtin. How could he say that you could just pluck these off on Yamtin? You know what I mean? Masak and Mana. So Rebbe Lez, you're going, Shalakhtin Lachilu. You're eating them. So you ought to eat on Yamtin. So Rebbe Lez, Rebbe Shem and Sabah Lo Kavua, the Yerma Dever Shem is Chavad Mutter. You're not intending to make it into a uh, Masak and Mana. You're just doing it for eating. So Dever Shem is Chavad Mutter. But we know, as it's brought down in so many places, you can see on the, the, the side over here, in the stuff the Shabbos over and over, but by a rub near Mitavayu, Mother of Shimon, the Sikration, will Yomos. The only time that um, we find the sheet of Rav Shimon, who's Makel, that the Devashim Mishavan is Mutter, is only if it's something which sometimes would happen, sometimes won't happen. But just like a, an animal, a chicken, if sick ratio, if you cut off its, ha- its head, well, you almost is not going to die, it certainly will. So it's something which 100% will take place, you will not say, So over here, you're plucking it off. It's a dev- it's, it's mamish like a sick ratio. So it's definitely happening. So even Rav Shimon wouldn't allow Devashin Mishkav in this case. So the answer is that he had another Hadas. He had another kasher hadas. He was going to use that anyway. So he mamish had no intention that this was going to be used at all for the sake of the hadas uh, for for sukkahs, and therefore it's not an issue. Tanabama, hoiter agdoi biyamtiv oydin kiaguda shel yerek. Let's say it got loosened the tie of the connection of the lulav to the hadas and rava on yamtiv. You can tie it. It should be a uh, not a permanent knot. First, not to make a kasher shel kayemes. But you can use that gudishal yerek, that the way that they would tie up vegetables. Vamai anvim anav. Why don't you just make a loop, right? Just use a like you tie your shoes with a loop. Hamanir bihudihi yerma aniva kshir mal yasahi. He holds that a kish, that when it comes to a loop, that is a kshir mal yasa. That's an actual knot. According to the shita of Yehuda, he holds that you're not allowed to make a loop on on Shabbos or Yomtiv. That's considered to be a kesher. He requires Eged. And therefore it has to be done properly. It has to be a real Eged. So if you do it Shilyarek, that doesn't accomplish anything. We often have this answer that our, this Tana agrees with him on one regard and argues with another. He agrees with him that uh, you know, you, you have to, it has to be, uh, you can't use a, a loop because that's a Kesha Shilchayama. And therefore you use a good Shilyarek. However, he doesn't agree with Rabbi Huda to the extent that it actually needs to be mamish tied. Um, rather, he holds like the the sheet of Rabbanon that uh, it's a mitzvah to tie it, but because it's ekev and veyu, but it's not an absolute requirement, and that has to be a, an absolute uh, permanent agit. Okay, <coughs> we'll stop uh, here. Let's see a couple more questions. T A thirteen mehechen. Loimed. From where does Rabbi Yehuda learn Shalul uh, Sarch Eged? So he said it's based on the Gzer Shavu Kicha Kicha from Agudas Ezoi. Question TB <coughs> 14. The Ezoi Oifin, he boyed Rabbi Yir, maybe in and down, minim im yesh dihoi. Umadullah Pashalom Mahadi Kisaha Ruach, Chaibu Chasois. So when it comes to the case of Kisri Hadam, so 
this is what he reads. It says this. He boils. Ben Naktam Roshi. He cut up the cut up the hadas on Yamtiv, and you end up plucking, and the berry grew on Yamtiv, so it becomes Nira. So the question is, when it comes to the Kisir Dam, the reason why you have to cover it up if the wind blows and then it comes off is because um, we're going to go Mabel Chomra. However, when it comes in this situation, if we're going to say the day the din of Ein Dichui, that's going to actually be a cool. And therefore, we're going to end up saying, oh yeah, it's, it's fine, because Ein Dichui is missus, but maybe it's a suffix, and therefore, because of that, it's not so clear what the din is, and therefore the Gemara uh, blabs it as an Iboy Delivshita. I'd come.